Hello YouTube, hello uh, survivors of non-consensual human experimentation, torture, tyranny in the world. This your boy, Kyle, aka Vulcan Wolverine, aka the Remote Neural Man. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. It is star date, 1 o'clock a.m. in the morning, Central Time, uh, April 3rd, 2019. Um, I just kind of wanted to make a short video, guys. Um, you know, I wanted to, to go ahead and put it up on my main channel. Um, and before I get started, uh, I wanted to say on the, the beginning of this video, for people that come to Vulcan Wolverine, my main channel, I uh, just wanted to remind y'all, like, my live stream, my ability to put up live streams has been revoked for three months, uh, and I'm about, I think, two weeks into that. So, uh, I am doing live streams over on Remote the is it the no just Remote Neural Man. Uh, I'm also putting those live streams that I do um, in the playlist on my original channel. So I wanted to say that in the beginning of the video just to let you guys and you know some people are kind of going over to that channel and supporting that, but I think it's just you know people get used to watching the main channel um, and it takes a while, um, which. You know, I know I know that a lot of people who maybe that hasn't happened to are like, oh, so big deal, he can't do live streams. But for what I want to do with this channel and like how I was doing everything to build it up to try and get the information further out in the public, uh, it is kind of a, it sucks. You know, it sucks uh, because I got to kind of like skiing, I got to switch to each ski and then in three months I'm going to come back to the main channel it's it's working out okay, but I would have rather it not happen, you know. Um, I guess I'll just get right into it. I want to say, uh, <laughs> I, mean, I did an April Fool's joke on my um, on my last was it, was it a live stream? I can't even remember. Uh, yeah, I think on my on my last live stream, I did an April uh, Fool's joke, and I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, and then later on that day. I was texting with one of my uh, targeted individual friends, and I told her that um, I told her that my condo had burned down, uh, and it was an April Fool's joke. But it's so weird because as targeted individuals, you know, if it, if it was just somebody normal, like if I was somebody normal, not a targeted individual, and she was, you know, she'd have been like, "Oh, April Fool's Day. Oh, yeah, right." But since we're targeted individuals, she really believed me. She was like, oh my God, you know, I'm calling you right away. She eventually, eventually, you know, I, you know, I let her know it was an April Fool's joke. But I kind of on that one, I was like, man, that went a little bit too far. Um, because she's going through a lot, you know, she's going through targeting. Uh, but I, I had to do, you know, it's April Fool's. It's a little bit of fun. It's a little bit of fun stuff, you know. Um, okay, guys, I think I'm going to get right into it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to blab too much about, you know, what's going on with me. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's kind of the, it's the same old, same old stuff, but with my body just getting, you know, tired isn't even the word. Uh, just, it's just, uh, you know, it's really bad. And I'm sure you guys who are targeted individuals, you understand. I don't want to spend too much time going through, um, going through exactly what kind of pains they're doing and everything like that. Um, I do want to eventually, though, you know, in, in, in an upcoming live stream or video, just start going through everything that I use to defend um, and everything that I've learned from other people on how to defend, too, um, because it, it doesn't make everything great. Like, my life is still not great. Things are very torturous and, and awful. Uh, and, you know, it's hard to think of words to um, that really give it justice to how bad this gets and how deceitful and ugly and just how no one would ever want to live life. Um, but uh, it does, like, having the defenses and the certain things that get me through it uh, make it, give it a, give me a good percentage of relief. Um, and, you know, it's bad even with those things, but I, I know it would be a whole lot worse without a lot of the defenses that I'm using. Let me get into this. Actually, that friend that, um, 
that friend that I did the uh, the April Fool's joke uh, to, I mean, she, yeah, she found out it was just a joke and it was, we both laughed, but she uh, pointed me towards this article. It's an article and a show. So this is the, uh, this is a, another targeted individual that Dr. Phil uh, brought on his show. You know, he's had, I think, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, in the comments, but I think he's had two other targeted individuals on the show, and he said, oh, well, it's, you know, it's uh, from drug use, it's paranoia, it's delusional, you know, anything that, most things that psychiatrists say uh, going by the DSM, you know, and, uh, and this one kind of clinches for me where Dr. Phil is at. You know, he, do, he does work in the mainstream media. Uh, he isn't going to go into any of these territories of truth where he could, you know, be put out of a job or his family could be put at risk. He's, even if he, if he doesn't know about this uh, and doesn't know about the neuro weapons and, you know, all these protocols, I would be very surprised. Uh, maybe he doesn't. Maybe, but I don't think that. I, I think there's a very low probability of Dr. Phil not knowing that this is happening uh, because he is a, you know, psychiatrist or whatever. He would know about neuroweapons and the new things that they're doing uh, to, to actually access and assess the mind, you know, via remote neural monitoring, remote neural manipulation. So I do think that, you know, he's not ever going to go into these areas because it's like national security. Uh, I don't see how treason them committing treason and torturing and murdering innocent American families is somehow they're protecting national security by not letting people know about that. I, I, you know, I don't understand any of this. Let's, let's, get, let's just say that. Like logically and how human civilizations progress and get better and, and you have freedom and families are protected and you have a good society... Within those boundaries, none of this stuff that's happening makes any sense. It's evil, it's chaos, it's control, it's full-spectrum dominance. So I, I understand intellectually why it's all happening and why the people that are doing this are doing this, but it doesn't make any logical sense if you do want a good world and people to prosper and yourself to prosper and things like that. Uh, so let me get into it. I'm going to go ahead and read the article first. Yeah, I'm going to read the article first, and then uh, I want to play it. I want to go ahead and play some of the clips from it. I'm not sure if there's going to be a copyright issue, but, uh, you know, I'm going to demonetize, make sure the video is demonetized, um, you know, so that's not a problem with the copyright thing, and I'll just do it, you know. I just have to play it, because these are very important news stories that we need to add to, because Dr. Phil's going to stop at, like, oh, this is some kind of mental condition. And this lady is actually being attacked. She's being attacked by chemicals and harassment and things like that. Now, this is a Jewish woman who uh, thinks that she is being chemically attacked. Uh, and I haven't, I haven't read much. I just kind of skimmed over it, and I didn't watch any of the clips. So I'm kind of going, going through it with you guys. But she's a Jewish woman who believes that it is uh, you know, Muslim terrorists within our country that are doing this to her. Uh, and, and me and my friend who, who pointed me towards this information, you know, were like, yeah, she's probably a targeted individual. This is her PSYOP, you know, getting her to believe that it's Muslim terrorists. Um, and there are, there are actually not a lot that I hear from uh, on conference calls, but I have talked to a lady on the conference calls who is, I'm not sure if she's Jewish, um, but she, she does believe that it is, is Muslim terrorists, um, you know. I try to kind of explain to her that, you know, if this was just terrorists who, who had grabbed this equipment and were torturing us, it's like terrorist acts against the United States that, you know, we'd have help from law enforcement. We'd have help from, you know, these agencies that are really doing this. Um, if, if that were the case, we would be getting help, you know, help for this. If it was a, a terrorist act like that, it is still a terrorist act. But it's just coming from the people that we think fight terrorism, that we trust to to uh, keep us safe and protected. It's coming from them, you know, the Pentagon, the DoD, the CIA, the DIA, uh, DARPA, and then all the contractors, all the all the the uh, arm, uh, you know, all the armed forces, intelligence agencies, and then contractors. That big web of military-industrial complex. Um, 
So let me go ahead and start reading, guys. Give me one second. My chest has really been hurting lately. And I just, I, I you know, I guess I'm not going to get into all that because we know the complications of getting medical help and getting some good, um, you know, images done and seeing if there's implants within the body. We know how difficult, uh, you know, and we're, we're all trying to push and find different ways, but it would be great if I could go to a doctor that I could just trust to look for anything that's not supposed to be in my body and then get it out. Um, I know that probably if I could get, you know, at least this, this implant, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm like 100% sure now, if I get this implant out of my shoulder, because it goes along here and it goes into the chest and down the side, hooks kind of, hooks into the vagus nerve, um, that the intensity of my targeting would be lower a lot, you know, at least by like 50%. And I would still probably have nanoparticulates and, uh, you know, nanoparticulates and nanotechnology that everybody has in their body as a catalyst for this. But I think, I think for that reason, uh, the intensity of the targeting, the intensity of the signal that uh, the attackers are getting from and sending to the brain and the nervous system, I think that that's the reason they use, you know, surgically implanted devices, and they still do, and they have been for a long time. They've been advancing, you know, surgically implanted devices alongside full body area networks and things like that, alongside of these other catalysts like nanotechnology and nanoparticulates. Um, so let me get started, guys. Okay, so I believe global terrorists are poisoning me uh, from April 1st, 2019. And now I do, I do really think that, uh, you know, I could be wrong, could just be a coincidence. I do think the April Fool's Day, uh, you know, him putting a story like this up on April Fool's Day uh, is a little wink. It's a little uh, cabal signaling uh, wink to the people in power you know, who are doing this and know that it's being done. It's a little wink, like April Fool's, you know. Um, I, I really do. You know, I, I know how that probably sounds to non-target individuals, but I, but I seriously do. Okay, uh, so Cheryl says she believes that a global terror network is experimenting on, on her with lethal chemicals. Uh, Saudi Arabia is funding a U.S. terror attack, and she will be killed by lethal poisoning. Uh, Cheryl claims the poisoning in her home is so bad that she has to wear two surgical masks just to stay alive. Cheryl says she is fighting to survive and getting weaker, and she doesn't know how much more time she has left. Uh, Cheryl's daughter, uh, Brina, says her mother is living in an alter altered reality and is concerned for her mental health. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, Dr. Phil examines Cheryl's claims to see if they stand up to challenge. Uh, plus, Dr. Phil reveals the results of extensive testing in Cheryl's home. What do they reveal? So let's go. Let's see if there's any more on this article. So, a woman who claims she is being poisoned says she wants help before the terrorist murders me. Uh, and then this is what her daughter says. Uh, this is an absurd thought process, says daughter of woman who claims terrorists are trying to poison her. And I've been there. I mean, now my mom believes me 100%. And in her eyes, I have been completely vindicated. Uh, I think that my dad still, you know, because he doesn't look into things that much. He loves me. He knows something's going on, but he doesn't believe it's as bad as I say. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not really sure, but I've been there where my mom, who loves me a lot, you know, kept me in a, a mental facility for an extra week because she wanted to help me, and she did not believe that this was happening. Um, so this is painful, 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 and I don't need to tell you targeted individuals. Um, and I think that a lot of targeted individuals, you know, I'm not going to speak to everybody's situation. I can't do that. But I, I do believe that sometimes it's like when, when family members think you're mentally ill and you're not, you're going through something terrible and something that 
uh, people just aren't ready for in society. Um, you know, they think that they're helping you, uh, you know, by, by maybe getting you in a, into a psychiatrist who gives you a bunch of medications or actually, you know, sending you to a mental facility or something like that. So it's, it's very evil. And deceit, you know, I tell you guys this all the time. I know these weapons are dangerous and microwaves, you know, destroying our brain and our nervous system are dangerous. But sometimes I, I, I do feel like the deceit involved in, in our system and how sick our system is and how people are just turning into these huge liars and they lie for their job. Like it's their, their job to lie to people and carry out things and they think they're like an agent or something. That's the downfall. That's the downfall of humanity. We have to stop lying everybody especially people in power transparency keeps people safe keeps if people are on the same page it keeps people safe and it helps police officers who are good and just trying to do their job people in the military who are good who are just trying to do their job being on the same page but it's like because we've got this pyramidal structure and the people at the top with all the money and can really control over the technology they're liars and they think that people are cattle and that they don't they don't want to tell, give people knowledge they want to hide the knowledge because knowledge is power then they feel like oh we can lie we can lie to people because they're not really people that we don't really consider them people and then it just destroys destroys goodness and families and everything good everything positive about people is destroyed with deceit um, and especially deceit where it's like killing people, you know. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and play this clip. Uh, you know, if it's copyright strike, I'll just I'll make another video kind of going through the article and stuff like that. But, you know, I want to go ahead and play this. My mom thinks that people are gassing her. My arms shake and my teeth going. An unbelievable story. You said there is a global terror network using chemicals of death poisoning you through air vents. I came out here to the garage to be able to eat. Her claims were investigated. We did a thorough inspection of Cheryl's home. And you won't believe what they found. All new Dr. Phil. I guess it was uh, it was an episode on Monday, Monday, April, uh, April the 1st. Um, let's see if there's any more clips here. I guess these are all just like 30, 30 second clips. Let's see. This is a four minute clip. Shift shoppers hand picking delivery. This reminds me products. of the, uh, reminds me of the 60 minute videos. A I'm getting bit flashbacks. Me. Please don't and turn off my of channel. I'm showing class. a news story. Season please don't kids. shut off my channel, please. Or so how do you get, go past or paper this? Towels. Can I just go past the advertisement? Will it allow me to do that? And a little spark you gotta watch the whole thing. Well, guys, enjoy Ship, the advertisement. Your door. Start your free two-week trial at ship.com. Before we meet today's guest, Cheryl, I want to give you some background on what she currently believes is going on in her life. Now, understand, I take this very seriously, so I ask you to do the same thing. Whatever she thinks is going on is real to her. Oh, look how he's already spinning it. Um, and she might, you know, it might not be chemical attacks. It, it might be directed energy weapon attacks and neuro weapon attacks that are uh, messing with her senses, where she's smelling something that's not there. Because remember, with remote neural manipulation, they're hacking into the vestibular system, which is the nerves and parts of the brain that uh, deal with, uh, you know, senses, smelling, taste, uh, sight, hearing. Um, you know, but, but, however, I have been poisoned by my attackers and gang stalkers. I'm not, not so much in this condo complex. I've gotten to a place where they don't poison my food or they can't really get in because there's a camera in the atrium. Um, but a lot of targeted individuals are still experiencing like being gassed with stuff. Um, and, and, you know, there probably is a certain element of that in my targeting 
but I just don't, you know, I, it's not very apparent. You know, it's not apparent that toxins or poisons are be, being put in my environment. You know, thank God for, for that, um, for that blessing there. Um, but let, let's go ahead and let him continue. It's like you can just, like, with, with these people, like Dr. Phil, like, he is a part of the system. Like, he's a part of the mainstream. Even if somebody did not tell him, like, even if the plan was not, hey, Dr. Phil, you're the, pe you're the psychiatrist that everybody listens to, and you're going to get these people. They're calling themselves targeted individuals, and this is really happening, but you've got to discredit them for this show, and you've got to say that this is mental illness. Even if there isn't something secretly under the table like that with Dr. Phil and these agencies and contractors, he's, even if it's not like that, if, if, even if it's not at a conspiratorial level like that, he's not going to go into these no-go areas. Even if he knows that it's true, he's going to stay in the mainstream, and he's going to say, this is mental illness, and this stuff doesn't go on. Uh, a good example of that, and, and it kind of goes along with this, because Dr. Phil was recently on the Joe Rogan show. Now, do I think that Joe Rogan was like contacted by the CIA or certain agencies and said, hey, you got to do disinfo, you got to stop talking about these conspiracies? I don't know. But if that's not the case, that he's actually doing it on purpose and planned like that, then at the very least, he's not going into those dangerous areas. Uh, for fear for his family and because he wants to stay mainstream because you don't stay mainstream for long when you start telling all the truth the whole truth you know nothing but the truth so help me god you know um so let, let's continue to play it you know if there's a co I, i'm almost like i can just feel these things i've got a copyright sense you know like a spider sense now because i've been hurt by it so Hurt by a copyright strike, right? Um, but I'm almost pretty sure that this is going to be a big copyright issue. But I'm going to go ahead. I have to have to try and get this out. It's it's a mainstream. It's in the mainstream. And, and the Dr. Phil thing, guys, it hits close to home. Because he had the, the second targeted individual that he had on... Me and my mother and my na my nanny, my aunt. I call my aunt. I call my aunt nanny. So she's not really my nanny, but I guess that was a joke when we were kids because she kind of acted like our nanny. Um, but um, to her, Doctor Phil's word is law. Like if he says something is mental illness, it's mental illness, and she ain't gonna listen to me. So this, so what Dr. Phil, his refusal to admit the truth and look into these weapons and tell the truth has affected how fast my mom was able to say, okay, you're vindicated. I 100% believe this. Now, now it's at the point where I'm like, I don't even know if I want my mom to believe me because she's being targeted. It's going to put her in danger and I'm just like, oh, okay. Well. And she doesn't know how bad it is. So um, I don't know how helpful it is. I guess I, w I don't know. It's so confusing because you're worried about your family being hurt. You still want them to know. Um, and I guess we just have to push forward and, and go at this thing, you know, just face first with fists flailing and get it to stop so that when we, we're telling people we're not putting them in danger because we're on our way to stopping this crap and getting help for everybody who's experiencing this. But I kind of got sidetracked on this, but basically because... That Dr. Phil episode came out with the second targeted individual, and, you know, Dr. Phil said, oh, it's drug use and blah, 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 or it's, uh, you know, mental illness. He spun it like that. I got this hair on this side that's sticking out. Um, and since he said that, my aunt was like, okay, what Kyle's experiencing is mental illness. And she's actually kind of angry at me. And I don't know if she's coming around and finding stuff about out about this, but my mom listens to my aunt so it's like i'm talking to my mom and telling her that this is happening and then she's having conversations with my aunt which i'm not privy to uh i mean we we do all talk together sometimes but she's talking to my aunt my aunt is somebody who she really trusts and listens to and they figure things out and if my aunt's sitting there and telling my mom this is mental illness don't you know she'd probably say things to my mom like you know don't enable him if you believe this, you're enabling him and stuff like that. Um, so it, it's, it's actually caused this to be harder. Dr. Phil specifically 
has made my life harder and made it harder for my parents to to know that this is going on and then somehow move forward from there you know uh and i'm sure he's going to do it again on this one you know i'm sure he's going to do it again on this one uh whether or not you know i i, I do i do i do suspect and i kind of like to i know guys that a lot of y'all would probably be like yes he yes he's probably bought and paid for and he, he is contacted by people and they say don't talk about this or if you're going to talk about it discredit it and you know i want to say yeah 100 percent uh 100 percent that's probably the case but you know to stay grounded I, i'm not sure i don't have any evidence of that uh but at the very least you know uh at the very least it's a no-go area and he probably does know that something there's something more to these uh, experiences that people are having. Uh, so, so let's go ahead and, and finish this one. No matter how far-fetched it may seem to you, perception, perception is reality. reality. Cheryl, Cheryl claims, claims that, that a global, global terror, terror network, network is experimenting on... And you know, like he's saying, perception is reality. Well, when you have neuro weapons that manipulate and um, you manipulate people's perception, manipulate their brain and their nervous system and make them perceive all sorts of things and then these people me y'all we try and describe what's happening and some of it we you know we're you know some of it we may be wrong i may be wrong on it's like with the remote neural manipulation are they doing exactly this this way you know i don't know it's like you know they'll make me feel like my neighbor is shooting something across the bathroom but it's really remote it's really a remote thing and I know even some of you guys, this gets confusing because even some of you target individuals watching me, you're like, it probably is your neighbor. And you're, you're misled and you think it's remote, you know. So our, our perceptions are, are played with with this weaponry. But the, the big point here is that, um, and, and you know, it's weird that he would say that. The big point is here, we're being hit with something. Gang stalking does exist. Directed energy weapon and neuro weapon experimentation. These weapons are being used on people. They're being used on me. And they're being used on other targeted individuals. Now, do we get everything right? We're on the other sides. We're on the other side of weapons that uh, that the public does not know about. That have not been put out into the public place for for people to see what it looks like and stuff, and is carefully hidden. Yeah, we might be wrong about some details. We might be perceiving a certain thing and be like, well, it's. It's this, and it may not exactly be that, but we are being hit with those weapons, you know. And just a good example is like, oh, you know, my neighbor's hitting me with weapons when it might not be your neighbor, it could be remote. Or maybe you think it's remote, and it, you know, I, well, I really, I think the probability now and how the grid is set up, um, the, the, the protocol, the PSYOP protocol is to make you think that your neighbor's doing it. That's, that's a protocol. Um, and they don't really have to do that. This program does not need to take the chance of getting a neighbor. Do they do it? Yeah. Do they do it in some circumstances? Yes. All the circumstances? No. Uh, how many, you know, what percentage? You know, we've still got to figure out these details, but the, the bottom line is this is happening. This is happening. You know, that's the bottom line. It's as simple as that. You know, all this other stuff is just putting out concrete information, putting out proof, talking about it, so, so people have to talk about it. We have to force them to talk about it because it's killing little kids, it, you know, tearing apart families, torturing us 24 hours a day. This is evil, has to be fought. Are we gonna be perfect when we fight it? No, we're not, especially because we're being damaged so badly. Um, but are really healthy people that uh, don't have to deal with this if they don't want to gonna jump in and uh, you know, save the day for us. Hopefully, you know, hopefully that'll happen, but it's not likely right now. You know, a couple of good people do. Um, but let, let me stop rambling and, and go ahead and play the video. On her with lethal chemicals. Saudi Arabia, in her view, is funding a U.S. terror attack. And she will be killed really want to say by lethal poisoning, poisoning gases. gases. Now, Cheryl Plain. Do you know how horrible that is? Because this lady is being hit with something or attacked by something, and he's making fun of 
what she's kind of her her theor her theorizing about it. She's like, I think it's terrorists and it's globally because she's trying to figure it out. She's trying to figure out something that's not just posted in the mainstream news to make fun of that when somebody's really being attacked. Because I know a lot of targeted individuals, and you know, I listen to them and I'm like, they're being attacked. They're targeted individuals, but they're a little bit off on their theories. Uh, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. That's going to happen. We're human beings. That's supposed to happen with this program. And we're getting better and we're getting more concrete information. But to do that to somebody uh, when they're really being attacked, trying to figure out something that they've never seen before. They've never seen these weapons. They don't understand that she's an older woman. She's an older uh, woman who had a family and she didn't really probably learn a lot about technology. And now she's fighting this technology, trying to figure it out the best she can. Yeah, it sounds crazy. Yes, and it's supposed to sound crazy. Um, let me. I'm going to stop interrupting it because I, I do want to kind of get get through some. And of the these. poisoning in her home was so bad that she had to wear two surgical masks just to stay alive. She also says that she had to eat her meals in the garage on this actual table to avoid contamination. She says she kept this journal as evidence. Now, now this, this is, is just, just one of 153, 153 entries. entries. My, My house, house is so toxic. toxic. I'm, I'm out, out by the street. street. He's, He's really, really trying, trying to kill me off. off. Now, now Cheryl, Cheryl says she is fighting, is fighting to survive and getting weaker. She doesn't, she doesn't know, know how much more time she has left. left. Take a look. Somebody who saw the Arabian has been poisoning me and made me his lab rat. My mom thinks it's a Middle Eastern terror group that's actually poisoning her. I believe, I believe my mom's, mom's racist, racist towards Middle Eastern. Okay, now what what the person who pointed me towards this information said is, um, and and it's also kind of what I believe uh, and have researched about this program. She's being remote neural monitored and remote neural manipulated, but um, specifically remote neural monitoring, and she starts to think that it is Muslim terrorists. Well, this program is going to find. Arabic people to put around her to gang stalk her and to do weird stuff because they want to push that belief They want to push that belief. It's part of the psyop So when I look at this and there's a guy in Canada and he thinks that it's only Jewish people doing it Like he thinks that it's just Jewish people doing it And so they put you know people uh, Jewish people around him to do the gang stalking and stuff like that um, So so that's it. We know that this is a huge protocol that they kind of, the way that you're thinking about what's going on, they like to push that and kind of play into that um, with street theater and gang stalking and, you know, weird people coming around your house and stuff like that. And then the, in cases with V2K, you know, doing a certain voice or something to make you think it's a certain person who you are like, oh, maybe it's this person, you know, then they'll use that voice. Um, you know, to push that belief along. They've done that to me a lot. Um, I stepped over here and stepped in this area. Now I'm feeling very dizzy. I was poisoned like three to 20 times a day. I'm so woozy that I'm afraid that I'll fall over if I don't hold myself up. I started hearing it a dinging noise coming from the attic that sounds like when you get a text, then I would get dosed. The vapor, when it comes down, is comes through the registers here when I'm laying in bed and would come down all over my face and my body. Several times it has been so strong that I stand there holding myself up with my arms shaking like palsy and they won't stop for like over an hour and my teeth going. The gas had gotten so bad that I came out here to the garage to be able to eat my food to have it not be exposed to the gas. Right now I'm at the peak of outgassing since I was in here earlier and had been exposed and so now it's coming out of my system through my lungs and my mouth and through my skin. My evenings always started with putting on my masks to protect myself from the vapors. I was very nervous laying in here because I had to be quiet all the time because if he heard me, he would start again. My mom is spending all of her money on apartment, spending it on hotels. She even moved into five different hotels. And the problem is, the same thing happens here. They come in, it takes them 10, 15 minutes, and I can hear them setting up here, and I can even hear uh, on this wall on the inside, you, and you hear pumps going. You 
Here's uh, how it's going. Over $10,000. Uh, what that makes me think of right there is that that's like using V2K. So I've told y'all about my V2K, and I might not be 100% right, so guys, don't get mad. I'm just talking about this from my own experiences. We have to talk about these things, these protocols, and what our attackers can do and how they can mess with our perceptions. Um, but I'll be in my room, there's nobody living above me, and like they will throw, it will sound like somebody's throwing something against the floor, getting up and off, of it, like onto, sitting down on a bed and getting up off of the bed, um, like somebody's picking something up and putting it down, yet nobody lives above me. Um, now that's, I don't know exactly how they do that, I guess it's like, um, you know, it doesn't seem like it's the V2K, like, like the voice V2K that I get, but it's some kind of sound, it's some kind of pressure in that spot uh, that will create a sound in that spot by remote weapons. So that's what that, it, it might actually be V2K. It might be microwave hearing because they can make it sound like the V2K is coming from this way or it's coming from this way or whatever. Um, and, and I also do want to mention, I do want to mention this, uh, and it does, I'm looking at this situation, it seems like something's going on with targeting with this um but we also do have to realize and this doesn't matter this point doesn't matter there is still mental illness mental illness does exist now whether this lady do it is like paranoid and stuff like that that does exist but targeting also exists so we have to put that in the equation we can't just say that everybody who's like uh who is experiencing pain v2k attacks they feel like they're being chemically attacked we can't automatically say that they're mentally ill because targeting does exist. It has to be put in the, into the equation. Also, we, we, you know, we've got to start studying. That, you know, people have to step in and really put that in the equation. But I'm not saying, looking at this, I'm like, yes, there's, there's targeting there. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. The, the confusing aspect of all this... The, the whole thing is, is very confusing and just tragic and awful to deal with for everybody involved. But um, that it's not just targeted individual or mentally ill person. Uh, it's, it's not just one or the other, which, which people who look at this subject, they say, oh, well, they're all mentally ill. Or some people say, oh, well, they're all targeted. People who say they're being followed and stuff. No, no, no. There's a whole spectrum of craziness surrounding human life and surrounding this stuff there are mentally ill people this does exist it does exist where somebody who has mental illness looks into targeting and says i think that that's happening to me and they're not experiencing that um now a small percentage probably but it does exist and we we've got to realize that we just have to add that this does happen and is happening to people we've got to put that in the equation and investigate like, and I'm not saying, I mean, targeted individuals, we're doing the best we can. We're trying to end this. But authority figures, you know, uh, law enforcement, uh, you know, it's got to, there, there needs to be committees and watchdog groups and people to come out and actually investigate this to do readings and things like that. Now, Dr. Phil is going to do a reading of her, her house and something like that. But if he does that, think about it. If he does a reading to try and find chemicals, and this is being done through neuro weapons. Her, her brain is being messed with, so it feels like chemicals are coming down on her. It smells like chemicals. It makes her feel woozy and stuff, and that's the neuro weapons doing that to her. He's obviously not going to find chemicals. And she's going to be still right that she's being attacked by something, but not knowing what she was being attacked by. And since she said chemicals, he can be like, oh, well, there's no chemicals. You know, we're not reading anything about that. Um... So let's go ahead and keep playing. I want to uh, kind of cut down on the rambling. I'm just going to go through all the videos that I can and just put it up for, until they copyright strike the video. The reason, the reason I, come I come to these, these hotels, hotels is to keep, keep these, these terrorists, terrorists away from, from you and, and my, my granddaughter because, because I, know I know that's the worst way you can hurt anybody is to, to hurt the people they, they love. love. I feel, I feel that, that I will eventually be killed, killed by this lethal, lethal poison. poison. This, this person, person is part of a bigger terrorist cell that, that is implanting itself. itself. They, they had a lot, lot of women of all ages, very pregnant, pregnant. 
and walking around. Some older in a burqa type with a, with a scarf. I believe they're breeding U.S. citizens here. I believe by putting this out here now, instead of just being tortured, that I will be khashoggi meaning that they will take me in, murder me, and my body will disappear. Mm. All right, let's see if there's another one. And guys, don't think, don't think because I'm saying, you know, there are mentally ill people um, that I'm invalidating what your experience is a targeted individual. I am a targeted individual too, and I'm experiencing... But we've got to realize these things, that it's, that it's a complicated mess. You know, it's, it's not just this cut and dry thing where it's like everybody who says they're a target is a target. Um, and, you know, it's, it's very complicated. There are people that say they're targets but are actually infiltrating. There are people who maybe are spiritually oppressed uh, and they feel like they hear about targeting and they're like, oh, well, that's me. I've got demonic oppression and stuff like that. Then there are Christian targets who are actually being hit with microwave weapons, who think it's spiritual and physical with the weapons used. Then there are Christian targets that are being hit with the microwave weapons that think it's demonic attacks. Then there, there are people with mental illness who, who are, they do have paranoid schizophrenia. They find out about targeted individuals and they start putting all the, uh, everything that's happening with their mental illness into this category. Uh, and trust me, I wish it wasn't so. I wish that everybody who said they were a target was just a targeted individual that was just a very logical, non-mentally ill person like most of the targets that I talk to. Uh, this would be a lot easier. We'd have a lot easier time. Because it's this big, confusing mess, it's a big, confusing mess. And it's really hard to unwind and unravel. And it's supposed to be like that. Any kind of programs that are trying to destroy you know, people's families and destroy our society and do this full spectrum dominance, the people that are doing them up levels, they want to look down with a bird's eye view on all the chaos and, and they like it. They like it when people are confused, when people are dying, when they're creating all this death and stuff like that. They don't exactly care how, what, exact, how, what exactly they're doing to create that death. They just want to make sure something bad happens, you know. Um, let's, let's see, I'll play another one real quick. I think I might play one more and then just kind of wrap it up. Uh, I want to, I wonder where you can get full videos. I bet it's on that, that movie channel I have. I'm going to see if I can catch the whole episode. Cheryl's, Cheryl's daughter, daughter Bryna says, says her, mother her mother is living in an altered reality and is concerned for her, her mental, mental health. health. Uh, Brian, I'm, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you brought, you brought your, mother your mother here. here. And uh, uh, you have your own theories about what's going on with her. What are they? Um, I, my theories are that my mom's either mentally unstable or that she's doing this for attention. Um, because a lot of it is outlandish. And then when she speaks about it, she does get a lot of attention wherever she goes. And she's lonely and she doesn't have me there readily available. So I feel like she's kind of created this altered reality to get people's attention. She's not always been this way, right? No, she's not. When did this start? When was the onset? It's progressively gotten worse. I would say within the last year, um, it started with a little bit of dosing and it wasn't always on her mind and always something that she spoke about. And then within the last, I would say six months, it's just nonstop every day. Something's happened to her. Okay, did anything happen about, about the time, time that this started, started or really got, got worse in her life that was traumatic, traumatic or stressful or, or some big change? change. Anything happened about, about the time this started, started to be a problem? problem. Well, she well, moved she closer, closer to me, and, and I started working full time, full -time so she, so she I wasn't readily available for her. her. And, and so, so she, she had, had a lot of loneliness and by herself. When you challenge her views, when you say, look, mama's doesn't make sense. Uh, you, say you say this, this is happening at the house, you've been to one, two, three, four, five different... You know, you know, I, I don't, um, you know, what I'm looking at right now, and I do want to give y'all my opinion of this, I really think that this woman is not being so much uh, tortured with chemicals, I think that it's actually neuroweapons that are messing with her olfactory senses, 
uh, and making it, even maybe making her see something like chemicals and it feels like that. Now, I know that a lot of target individuals are hit with chemical weapons and things like that, but that's just what I'm seeing right here. I could be wrong. And then I wanted to say something. Um, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. But I did want to give you all my, uh, my opinion of what I think is going on here. Um, oh, I had something really important. Okay, let's go ahead and finish that. Maybe I'll remember towards the Hotels. end of the world. And you, and you say, say they're, they're following, following you from hotel, hotel to hotel. hotel. What, does what does she say when, when you challenge it and say it doesn't make common sense? sense. Whenever oh, I challenge okay. her, she always gets combative. Yeah, okay, just because something doesn't make sense, because it's not just like how the mainstream media talks and stuff like that, we're living in a very crazy world now. Like, people have kind of evolved these different systems, like contractors and the DOD and certain weapons and things like that. And stuff that happened with the Patriot Act, things are kind of evolving and rolling in this, uh, like snowballing into these horrible things. So just because something doesn't make any sense, uh, really, if you're if you're a non-targeted individual, because targeted individuals understand this, like it, it doesn't make sense. Like me being attacked with voice to skull and getting hit by microwave weapons and stuff, I've had to research and look like why is this happening like all targeted individuals they're like this doesn't make sense like I'm just a normal person why is this happening so we have to even go through that process of what the hell I'm just this normal person trying to live my normal life I'm not a danger to anybody I'm not doing anything to anybody it doesn't make sense but that you see that is the whole thing that's the whole thing of why it's done like that it's weapons research and weapons advancement. Is That's just one angle. They want these people who are advancing these weapons and re doing non-consensual human experimentation, they want it to not make sense so that people don't believe it's happening. The more evil, the better for them. Oh, it's so satanic and evil, we can't believe that people would do something like that. Perfect for the other side. We've made it so crazy, and it doesn't make sense, and we're doing it to these people who it really, they're, you know, just normal, normal people. And, I'm, and, and remember, I'm not saying that we aren't special, because we are damn special. Uh, and I think you just, in, in what I believe, my beliefs, and I'm not going to get too much into this, but if you are, if you are trusting God and believing in God and trying to be a good person and help people, and you believe you're special, you are special. And you, you have a destiny. It's just about choosing to be special uh, for me. And I got I got sidetracked, so I kind of forgot what I was saying. But um, but yeah, it, like like my attackers will make this extra evil and say extra evil stuff on the V2K because they know if I tell somebody some of the, I don't say some of the stuff they say on V2K because I'm like people if they don't believe that I'm getting V2K, it's gonna make me look really bad. Uh, and it doesn't make sense, and it's so evil. But that's the point. That's the point to make it not look, not make it not, make it make it not make sense. Let's see if I can get that out. Make it not make sense to normal people who aren't experiencing it. And therefore, you create the perfect cover, right? It's too complicated. It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense to what me as a normal person. And I'm not talking about me because. It's hard to feel like a normal person going through this. Um, we are really normal people without this. We're normal people being attacked by something so weird. Um, but it's like, as a normal person who's not experiencing a full frontal assault from neuro weapons and directed energy weapons, of course, this does not make sense. And they're not going to research... Well, a lot of people are researching it now. But as we've gone along, people don't really look into it and they say that doesn't make sense. It seems crazy, and uh, those people must be mentally ill because that makes more sense. Occam's razor, right? Um, and Occam's razor, I have to tell, I have to tell y'all, I think that Occam's razor is completely insane and without any scientific bearing, because my life has shown me that the simplest answer to things and is not how the world works. There's crazy shit everywhere. Bizarre stuff. We've all learned that. We, we grow up and as things as a kid that we learn, we're like, well, things don't work that way. Things are a lot crazier and more complicated than I thought when I was a kid, right? So are we saying that the world works how like a three-year-old thinks? Because they think pretty simply. 
You know, that, that's, that's not even a scientific theory. That's propaganda. Occam's razor is propaganda. Now, was it meant to be propaganda? I don't know. But to me, it's like that is the stupidest thing a scientist could ever say is the simplest conclusion is always the right conclusion. Is that how life works? That things are always simple? No. No. Added with me, she gets mad. She'll go from, even last night, um, she went from a uh, happy state to an upset state where she thought I was against her to now feeling sad and crying and her needing my support. Mm -hmm. And so so it's always always that that I don't don't believe her. her. You're like them. them. You You don't don't believe me. Okay, and so So logic logic doesn't doesn't affect affect her. her. Right. And she She claims that these chemicals chemicals are are coming coming in through the vents, vents, and and so she she goes out and eats in the garage, and she talks about outgassing. So that's when she's purging herself. If she gets out away from it, she's purging herself. Right. Okay, and have, have you seen, seen actually any symptoms, symptoms that you objectively observe? Has, has she, she gotten, gotten less healthy? healthy? Is she showing any no, and that's dizziness, that's wobbliness, wobbliness, anything No, when we're together, her state is completely different than when she's by her, herself. Okay. So when she's by, with, us, with me, she seems healthy. She just talks about a little bit of a shoulder pain or she can't walk because her knee. But... And let me add something real quick, because I do, I do want to maybe go through a video of the, the actual woman who's experiencing this talking to Dr. Phil. I hope they have one of those. But um, when I'm with my family or with friends and I have an external stimulus, like because my attackers are entraining me, the bidirectional stream of energy, remote neural manipulation, remote neural monitoring, but remote neural manipulation and entrainment, uh, when I'm alone, it's a lot worse. It feels a lot worse when you have external stimuluses and you're with your family and you're interacting your brain's working in a different state than what your attackers are dealing with for for most of the time that they're attacking you they want you isolated because your brain's uh functioning at at that level uh this the the certain areas that the different areas of your brain are uh are lit up and functioning when you're alone and it changes your brain lights up completely like when you listen to music or when you're uh, you know when you're interacting with friends now that's not to say that the entrainment completely goes away there's still effects of the weapons and things like that Um, but it does it gets better You, you don't notice it as much but what the what people who really want to discredit that this is happening will say is oh well that's like that's like mental illness or depression. You know, when you're alone, it gets worse. And then when you're with people, you feel better. and The mental illness gets better. You see, so, so there's like so many, there's so many parallels to the outward signs of mental illness and the outward signs of being attacked with neuroweapons and directed energy weapons. Now, to somebody who's experiencing being hit with directed energy weapons, being hit with neuroweapons, it's obvious. You're getting hit with weapons. It, it, it's, it's not something where you're like, maybe I'm crazy. Like, I, I've, I've never, and I think some, some targeted individuals, maybe their weapons attacks were, were more subtle. For me, for me, I have never, since I started getting attacked with these weapons where it was high pitch sound, V2K, over-targeting, not one time, not one time did I say, well, maybe my brain's just messed up and I went crazy. The weapons attacks were so obvious, and that's an important point to bring across for non-target individuals. It's being hit with weapons. It's obvious, you know. Um, however, you know, I feel like 10 years before it was overt, there was stuff happening, and I questioned if it was health issues because it was not overt targeting. It was a, uh, um, it was covert targeting. It was... Um, state-of-the-art mind control and remote neural manipulation where they didn't want me to know that I was being targeted. So I think that if some targets are getting that level of targeting, they might question their sanity. Uh, I think that's a regular thing. But when, when the overt targeting started for me, I was being hit by weapons. And it feels like weapons. And it's obvious. You know, it is obvious. Um, 
So let's so let's continue with this one. <clears throat> and that sometimes she can't walk because of the effects of the gassing. Right. And how does she feel about being here today? She's so hopeful. She's so hopeful that you're going to help her. And how does she feel about me? Oh, she has. She wrote into the show, and then I wrote into the show based on her just breaking down every time she would talk about you giving her help and getting her help. She would start crying. All right, let's let's look for one more. I'll kind of wrap it up uh, with just one more, but I wanted y'all to see this, and you can just go to drphil.com. You know, hopefully this video that I'm making will stay up for a little while at least. Um, I just really do think this is going to be a huge copyright issue. I mean, I played, like, part of a Rocky, like, the Rocky movie that was already on YouTube that somebody, like, totally took the entire clip and mirrored it onto YouTube and had no problem, and yet I get a copyright strike, you know? So, I'm kind of copyright shell-shocked. Okay, I think that's it. I want to... No, wait. Hold on. Okay, maybe this is a clip of her talking to Dr. Phil. Woman claims she's one of many being targeted in an interior assault on our country. Now that's true. Uh, is it Muslim terrorists that are hitting us with these, with these directed energy weapons and neuro weapons or gassing people and poisoning them? No. No, it's not. Ship shoppers oh, handily can deliver your favorite you products, sit through this like grease advertisement. and a freshly baked baguette. Probably a copyright strike for, uh, for that advertisement. And a bunch of healthy snacks for the whole class. No, no, my head is so or a cookie. I've noticed it in my videos. Like I, I used to not do this, but now I do it all the time. I start shaking my legs, and so I'll be Shit. talking on a video, and I'll see myself kind of like bouncing a little bit. Um, now, Cheryl's been keeping a journal. Got some bad habits. And I've pulled some of your from journal entries. This is from Monday, October 22nd, 2018. Location: Cheryl's apartment. This assault has been non-stop all night. My brain is being fried alive. Uh, I could be a vegetable by morning without God's help. I want brain, hair, skin, organs, lungs, complete autopsy to prove these are Saudi chemicals of war. This is a mixed cocktail of death agents. This assault is continuous, attacking my brain non-stop. Brain is burning. I've heard him in and out of my attic since I got home at 7 p.m. Lock him up for life. She heard him in and out of the attic. Now, I would bet, you know, I don't know. Are there chemical attacks involved in this woman's targeting? I don't know 100%. We need to get more evidence on all these cases, and it's very important. If you are a non-targeted individual, do not write this off. This is happening. Exactly what's happening to this woman, what type of targeting, I'm not sure. Because they could be doing the, the V2K or an actual sound at the point of contact above her in the attic. Uh, because, you know, a lot of the times at my old house that burnt down, I would hear people above me. There's obviously no attic there, right? So it was either V2K, and I can't remember what it's called. Um, it's like it's like a sonic weapon used to create sound in a specific location so that's what i think that is when i'm hearing sound up there but i went to my mom's office one day i went to my mom's office one day and uh to catch up on some work like a, a grant i had been writing and i heard people just walking the whole time the whole time footsteps and in the only place you could get to that attic the only place you get to, you couldn't get to that attic from outside of that office building. And it, nobody else's attics in the office complex connected to that. And the only way you could get into that attic was from the office that I was in. Um, and it sounded, it did not sound like my V2K, where it's, it, where it's like I can kind of, I can kind of tell that it's something actually hitting me, kind of. It's directional, but I can be like, yeah, that's, that's, that's a signal to my brain that's going to my inner ear. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense on that. 
uh, but these sounds that are far off and they sound exactly like what they sound like, they, they sound exactly like what they're supposed to make you think they are, sounds very, very real. Um, so that's what I'm thinking on that one. And so when I'm, when I'm saying what I think this is, guys, uh, please don't, don't get insulted. If you are being, if you're a target individual who's getting like really gassed with chemical attacks and stuff, I know that that stuff goes on. It's kind of hard for me to understand because I haven't experienced it to the uh, extent like some other targeted individuals. My targeting has to do with like neuro weapons and heavy directed energy weapon attacks and then gang stalking, but my gang stalking is like, you know, a after a long time, they've kind of, sure, they've kind of, you know, uh, not done away with the gang stalking, but they don't work so hard on the gang stalking anymore, and they really focus on just destroying my nervous system and destroying my brain, you know, with neuro weapons, with electromagnetic frequencies. So I'm coming from this place of what I've experienced most, as a targeted individual. And that's why we've got to talk about these things. And there's got to be more research done. We've got to collect more evidence. We've got to get these, we've got to, you know, make these people who are doing this a lot more scared that we're going to find concrete, or we find concrete evidence, make them a lot uh, more scared to do this stuff and keep backing them off. Keep backing them off. Whatever you do, you keep back, we back them off. You know, they don't move forward. We back them off. They're still shooting this stuff. We back them off. Like, we got to keep doing that. Um, that's why things like this are important. So what I, what I do want to say is if, uh, you know, if you disagree with me on what's going on here, you know, please leave a comment in the comment sections of, you know, your, your thoughts on what's going on or just, you know, you just leave a comment on anything, but especially like, you know, what do you think's going on here? From what I've seen, I, I don't see mental illness. I don't see mental illness. She didn't just go mentally ill when she turned... 70 years old or I don't know how old she is in her, her late 70s or early 70s or whatever uh, She didn't just contract mental illness. I don't see it that she would want to do this to her daughter She probably loves her daughter. So I don't think she just want to get attention by destroying her daughter emotionally uh, as, as people say like targeted individuals want wants attention or whatever. I love my parents I don't want them to be in pain I don't want so so to to say that this is to get attention is absurd. I mean, it's just absurd. I know there are people, how big of a percentage there are out there that that do say things are happening to them that want attention. I get that, uh, but man, most of the people that I've talked to as a targeted individual, all of them, didn't want this attention. Did not want this attention. Life and send his family back to their country. Now, Tuesday, October 23rd, 2018, location, Cheryl's apartment. This is a tortured death. My body will be left dead or a vegetable. It's almost impossible to believe that a stranger can be this evil to a great grandmother. A stranger, for some unknown reason, it is my turn to be the sacrificial lamb. Language is very powerful. You, you say that. Your, your, your brain, brain is, is actually being, being fried, fried alive. alive. That's, That's what, what it felt, felt like in the throes of it. It was that. Here's another piece of evidence. You know, here's another piece of evidence that maybe this is not chemical attacks. Maybe they are putting toxins or something in her environment. But to me, red flag goes up when, when she's saying it feels like her brain's being cooked. Uh, that it's like neuro weapons in, in microwaves. Um... Leave what you think in the comments below. Uh, this is a but target. if that were true, we wouldn't be here talking, would we? Right. But at that moment, it felt like I was not going to be there after that. Okay, but my point is, you were wrong. Yeah. Well, I survived it. Right. That's so stupid. You, but can you acknowledge that you were wrong? Well, at that time, I did survive, but the next time, I may not. You said, said my, my brain, brain was, was being, being fried, fried alive, and I'm not picking, picking on your words, words but I think, I think language, language is powerful. powerful. I mean, I, mean, I, I hear, hear people, people say, oh, oh I, I, last I, night was just horrible. horrible. And, and I, I, hear I hear people, people say, say things, things like that, that and purpose you know, I've, I've, I've been, been on the children's, children's burn unit. That's horrible. Being on a bad date's not horrible. 
You said there is a global terror network using chemicals of death targeting me. Which, which is, is a little, little grandiose, grandiose, actually. Well, this yeah. one specific person's You see, this is what now. they throw at us. Okay, I'm sorry for interrupting, because I've already kind of said this, and I've said it a million times in my other videos. It's not grandiose. It's a huge program. Many countries are testing these weapons and advancing the weapon systems. That you happen to be picked in that, or, or some circumstances, uh, you know, they pulled you into the program, it's not grandiose because you're not the only one experiencing it. Millions of people around the world are, and you're one of those people. So, so this, this bullshit, this bullshit of, why would they target you? What's special about you? My name's Dr. Phil, and it looks like my eyes are about to pop out of my head because I'm a dumb retard. It's stupid. It's stupid. It's stupid, and it's wrong. I'm, I'm going to get a little bit undiplomatic about some of these things because it's just people wanting... It's either people purposefully discrediting or, or it's people who maybe don't know this stuff is going on and they really don't want to believe it. It's simple to understand. Like, these weapons are not that complicated. Like, of course, the details of how it's done, that has to be... It's not in the mainstream public, but it's not that complicated. It's not rocket science to understand that it's happening. People have to try and not understand, and try and think of things to not have to understand, and not have to be responsible, you know, to help something that should not be happening, to jump in and be a good human being. Um, so it kind of gets me mad a little bit. Let's, let's move, I'll go back a little bit, because she, she just started to talk again. Actually, well, this one specific person's part of this network. The whole network isn't attacking me, this person is attacking me. Yeah, but I mean, even that's a little grandiose because, I mean, you're of no particular strategic significance that I know of. I was just convenient. Yeah, yeah. but... They start somewhere, and they start with me, and nobody believes me, so it works. Because then they build up, when people come later and talk about it, they, they've already got it programmed that nobody's going to believe it. They've already got that seed of doubt put in by people like me that are coming forth and not being believed. And you don't think in a year they would have gotten the data they needed and moved on? No, because they're going to do an interior assault on our country. All right, guys. Um, so I just wanted to show you all that. And I really think that, you know, there's so many of these situations going on in the world. There's so much targeting. And a lot of it does not make it like on the Dr. Phil show or 60 Minutes uh, or anything like that. Uh, but we are going to be seeing a whole lot more of this. And I told my parents that. I said, you're going to be seeing a lot more stuff like this happening. Just remember, guys, um, just remember this is happening. So, so to speak out about it, like this woman speak, spoke out about it. She wrote Dr. Phil. She wants help with this. She is being attacked. It is happening, so everything that comes tomorrow and the day after, it's going to validate the truth, the reality. People can try and hide a reality, but it can't be disproven. A reality can't be disproven. They can cover it up and they can uh, stall, 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 and they can, you know, misdirect and everything like that. But at the end of the day, something is happening that's real. And everything will point towards that actually happening because it is happening. When, listen to what I just said if you're not a targeted individual. Targeted individuals know this all too well. But when I have to explain something like that, that this will be shown to be happening because it is happening. When you have to start explaining stuff in society like that, because our society is so tyrannical and they're hiding so many dangerous things that are hurting and killing so many innocent people, and you and you you're so desperate to make people know that this is happening because so many people are being hurt. We live in a dangerous, not free society. If you feel like you are free right now, like I felt when I was a certain age, it takes a day. It takes a day for them to pick you for no reason whatsoever and target your family and target you for your whole life if this isn't stopped. It takes a day. So that feeling of, well, it's being done to certain people or, you know, it, you know I'm free. What are they talking about? It's a lottery system.
we can't live in a lottery system where if you don't do something, you, we need to live in a society where if you don't do anything to anybody and you're minding your own business and you're a productive citizen, not even productive, you don't have to be productive, you're a good citizen, doesn't hurt others, you don't do crime, you should be left alone because that's what the Constitution says in America. That's what we should live in. We shouldn't live in, well, if the government wants to research on my body while I'm still alive and then start researching on my family and experimenting on us and murder us, then they should be able to do that to protect the country. They should be able to murder innocent families to protect innocent families. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. And that's not what they're doing. Like anybody, like my attackers, I think that they think they're sacrificing me and you know they, they know they're contractors on my, my family. Um, and they're like, well, we're doing this research and development, this advancement of these weapons and this, you know, these psyops because it's going to protect our country. It's going to protect our country from other countries that have this type of weaponry. That's not what this is for. That's not what this is for. This is for more chaos and more evil and more control and full spectrum dominance from the top, from the top of a global hierarchical structure. Now, we can talk all day about who's at the top of that global hierarchical structure. But that's what's happening. Um, and it's not good for any of us. It's not good for these people on the weapons. It's not good for them or their family. If they want to have kids, it's not good for me and my family. It's not good for any of you guys watching this. It's not good for the people that think that they're free and they get to go to a job and have a family and they don't feel like they're being hurt. It's not good for them because at any time, you lose your freedom. You're being tortured. Not because you're a bad person. Not because you did anything wrong. Not even because you had the wrong thought. Not even because you had the wrong thought. They'll put a wrong thought in your head and then make an excuse to destroy your life and say that you're bad. Alright guys, um, that's it for this one. I hope that it stays up for a while. Um, I have to show that anyway. I guess I just hope... You know, I don't think they'll take my channel down. They would just uh, disappear this video. Um... All right, guys, that, that's it for this one. Um, and just and remember, I'm doing live streams on Remote Neural Man. Uh, so go over there and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, be aware of the live streams that I'm doing. Um, and please, you know, please like, share, and subscribe uh, to this channel um, because we got to get this information out. We are, we're making a lot of headway. I know it feels hopeless and it feels too big and it's like, I've been conditioned into a lot of hopelessness and like, you know, this isn't going anywhere. We're not doing enough. But when I start feeling that way, y'all, I think about how bad it was six years ago. Like how a lot more hopeless it seemed. It seemed a lot more hopeless. Uh, so in those, in that six years, and that's not when, when I started being targeted, um, but it was when I started making YouTube videos and things, there wasn't information like this. You know, so information's coming out. Things are changing. This is the truth, so it's going to happen, guys. I know our society's evil. I know that a lot of things are, they're trying to cover up a lot of things. And by they, I mean basically the military-industrial complex and, and things associated with that, like in every country, you know, covering those things up. And then the structure above that that's playing countries like a chessboard, you know. Um... But things are a lot better than they were six years ago. Hang in there, guys. You know, we got it. What choice do we have but to hang in there? And I did I did want to kind of add before I end the video, you know, there may be a lot of targeted individuals out there, and you don't want to get on a video like this or on social media and be like, hey, I'm a targeted individual. This is what I'm experiencing because maybe you have a job and you think that you'll be judged or it'll hurt, you know, it'll hurt relationships or something like that. Um, you know, what you can do is, you know, just, just start a YouTube channel or on Facebook, put videos like this up and be like, I thought this was really interesting and it's weird, you know, and stuff about, you know, neuroweapons technology. You don't have to come out and say you're a targeted individual if you think that's going to really hurt your life right now. Um... I don't know, I'm trying to figure out that one uh, because th there's a whole lot more people being targeted than, than who are speaking out. Um, for me, it's just like we don't have a choice. And I might not be the best choice 
for this, for trying to explain things and put out information, but I'm, I'm what we got right now. And other target individuals that are doing it, it's what we got, you know. Um, and, 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 you know, more and more people will come out, but I'm just saying there are ways, just keep it in mind that you don't have to do things exactly like other target individuals. If you're concerned about, um, if you're concerned about being judged or something like that by people who are not targeted individuals, there's many ways to get information out. I'm sure a lot of people have already thought about that. And hey, boo boo, I'm gonna say hey, everybody, come here. Get my boo boo. Hey, my sweetie. Hey, little sweetie. All right, guys. I guess I'll leave it at that. Um, and uh, and I'll probably be doing a live stream next on my other channel. Uh, but just check me out there, Remote Neural Man. Um, and I'll and I'll see you on the next one. I love you guys. I hope y'all are you know just hang in there. I hope you're finding some comfort. I'm going to try and put some more stuff up about defensive ideas uh, and maybe label it really good because even I have trouble. I've made so many videos, it's hard for me to find specific information that I've gone through in the past. Um, but, but yeah, I'm going to kind of be thinking about doing that and just keep putting information out. You know, we got to keep moving forward. It, it makes it easier, you know, when you're moving forward, when you're putting information out there, when you are fighting this, you know. Uh, when you when you kind of sit there and and take it when you're being tortured and stuff it feels a lot worse than like working on defenses being proactive don't be reactive we got to be pro proactive because when you when you're reactive you get caught up in hyper game theory when you react to something they do something for that reaction they do it to for proactive stuff too but you feel a lot more in control you feel a lot more in control and you can make a huge difference you know all right guys i'll leave it at that i love y'all um and i'll definitely see you on the next one okay